pancreatic cancer is a hard disease. We are working very hard to come up with advances for this disease because it's one of the cancers that's diagnosed at a late stage. So when a patient has symptoms such as abdominal pain or weight loss, most of the time it's already spread outside the pancreas and it makes it harder to treat. Um, the nature of pancreatic cancer in and of itself is that it, it is resistant to chemotherapies and even to radiation therapies because of the way the cells grow and the um, layer of tissue that surrounds the cancer which serves as a barrier to the treatments getting into the cancer to, to kill it. Um, therefore, we are working on specific targets in pancreatic cancer, research targets that we can um, manipulate to kill the cancer better, have the drugs enter the cancer cells better. Uh, that's that's what is what we're working on here at New York Presbyterian, so that we can make a dent in this disease because that's ultimately the most important thing is what we want patients to live longer from this disease. There are about 37,000 new cases diagnosed in the United States each year. Uh, the biggest risk factors for pancreatic cancer are smoking and also family history. So if you have a family history of pancreatic cancer, it's very important to let your doctor know about that and so that we can see if this is related to a, a family syndrome that could be pancreatic cancer. Um, it's also important to find out if a, a pancreatic cancer could be hereditary or not because there are certain agents that we use to treat pancreatic cancer that work better in hereditary pan cancers or um, cancers that could be in family syndromes. So that's an important part of it as well. Pancreatic cancer is not one disease. Everyone's cancer is different and I, I have to explain that to my patients over and over again because they'll, they'll tell me that a relative or a friend had cancer and this and this happened to them. But then they'll tell me that they know someone else who had pancreatic cancer and this and this happened to them. Everyone's disease is different and everyone's disease responds differently. We need to find what your disease responds to and that's, the, that's our plan of action. So what we do is we look into certain markers that the cancer makes and we look into certain proteins that the cancer makes so that we can target these specific proteins when we treat the cancer. And I think that that is how we individualize cancer therapy here. It's very important to realize that everyone's cancer is different. And yes, we can treat with uh, similar chemotherapies and similar radiation treatments, but we want to try to personalize it and make it treatment for that specific patient because ultimately each cancer is different and each cancer is going to respond differently. So that's what our goal is in treating pancreatic cancer. At New York Presbyterian, we've been very active in researching pancreatic cancer and coming up with newer therapies for this disease. Um, a very important trial that we have been working on for a couple years now is a radio-labeled antibody that targets a specific protein on the pancreatic cancer cell. And this antibody is attached to a form of radiation. So it gets injected into the patient through an IV, through an intravenous form, circulates in the body, and then reaches the pancreatic cancer because of this target. And then when it reaches it, it emits off radiation to kill the cancer cell. So this is a very novel way of treating pancreas cancer. There are other therapies that we're doing research on, such as looking at the different markers that exist on the cell surface so that we can target therapies based on blockers that, that go against those certain markers and are administered to the patient in, in a hope to kill the cancer.